So a lot of times, it, it, if you're like me, and maybe this is just because of the way Kevin taught us at first, when somebody's on their back, I'm automatically trying to get one leg between their legs, right? Because I either want to go with X pass or something like that. But when you're here, if you can't get the X pass, or maybe you just don't want to get the X pass, you, this is a perfect setup for a knee cut pass, right? So what I want to do, obviously, is take this knee and cut it across to the mat over there. But DJ's not just, just going to let me do that, right? If I try to do that, he's, he's going to block me. He's going to put a knee shield in or whatever. So what I usually do to set this up, if I can get a pant grip over here, like I'm going to do with X pass, if I can get that pant grip, and I want to connect my elbow to my knee, okay? I want to connect my elbow to my knee. I'll start DJ's momentum that way because I know I'm going that way. So I'm trying to open him up like this and I'll cut across with this knee. Now, once you get here, this is really important. If I try to knee cut and I don't have a collar grip or an underhook, the worst thing I can do is knee cut, right? So if I don't have either and I knee cut, CJ's like, well, thank you, Paul. You gave me your back, right? So anytime you go to knee cut, when you get it set up and you start to go, you either want to have a really, really good grip on this lapel or my preference is to shoot the underhook. So as this knee comes across, shoot the underhook. Now, this knee is already to the mat but I, I'm still on top of DJ's leg. So from here, I can either grab his sleeve, his tricep, whatever, and I'm gonna grind that knee through and finish the pass, okay? Turn a little bit let's get it up Paul, question, when you're grabbing his pants, what are you doing with that? Are you keeping him? All I'm doing is using that to keep this out of play okay. so that I can knee. You're kind of safe. Yeah, so I'm here. I'm just using this so that he can't move okay. this knee shield position. So again, I get his weight going this way, I knee cut. See how I'm, I'm over his uh, leg right here. So I want to transition to the underhook. Now, I've got to grind that knee through, just like this. But like I said, most of the time what's going to happen is when I get there and I get this underhook, he's going to fight this, right? So I can grab a sleeve, grind it, so as we drill it with some tempo, it should look kind of like this. I'm just going to set it back up. Get your grip here. You're baiting, you're baiting. Basic knee cut pass. Any questions? Ready? Okay.